Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn about the Charkov's rule. Okay. So the scientist is Erwin Charkov. Okay. His proposition was of great help for Watson and Crick in proposing the complementary base pairing in a DNA double helix. Okay. So let us see what does Erwin Charkov's rule. Okay. So first of all, this Charkov's rule will be applicable for a double stranded DNA. Okay. And the second one, so this is the statement of the Charkov rules. Okay, so ratio between adenine and thymine, guanine and cytosine will be always constant and equals one. Okay, so if at all we are asked to state Charkov rule, this is what you are expected to write. Okay, so the same statement it can be represented in a various form of expressions which are given over here. So let us recall all these expressions of Charkov rules. Number one. The ratio, okay, as such the statement, ratio between adenine and thymine will be constant and equals 1 and guanine and cytosine will be constant and equals 1. So the same, so what should be, I am taking here, say for example, a simplest example let me consider, say for A is equal to 30, okay, right. So in order A is equal to 30, T also should be equal to 30, okay. So, T here is also equal to 30. So, this expression will be satisfied because adenine always will be pairing with thymine. Okay. So, now coming to G will be equal to C. So, here in a complete DNA molecule, 100% of the bases, if at all 60% of the bases is occupied by adenine and thymine, the remaining if I am taking, so 40% bases will remain. Okay, so that 40% of bases I have to distribute equally between guanine and cytosine. So guanine will be equal to 20 and cytosine also will be equal to 20. Okay, so these expressions are satisfied here as well. So A plus G plus C plus T will be equal to the 100% of bases in a DNA double helix. Okay, expression number 3. So A plus G will be equal to T plus C. Can we calculate here? A plus G is 50 equal to T plus C. Again it is 50. Okay. So the same thing can also be said in words like purin will be equal to purinvins. Okay. So there are various ways of, of expressing this chart of state. Okay. Finally the same thing we are representing here. Alright. A plus G by T plus C. So pure and pyrimidine ratios if you are taking again it will be equal to 1. Alright. So regarding Charkov's rule we can expect three ways of questioning. One was finding out the expressions. Okay. Normally they will be asking for the expression which will not hold good for the Charkov's rule. That is this expression. Okay. So A plus T by G plus C is constant is not true for Charkov's rule. The same values if I am applying here, A plus T will become 60, G plus C will become 40. 60 by 40 is not constant and equal to 1. Okay. So this is the expression which we have to remember which is not holding true for Charkov's rule. Okay. Now the second way of questioning is they will be providing the percentage or number of any one of these bases and asking you to find out the remaining bases. Alright, this is the second way of questioning. Now we will see the third way of questioning using Charkov's rule. The question is, while analyzing the genetic material of an organism, a total number of 5386 nucleotides were found. Out of these nucleotides, the proportion of A 29% adenine is 29 percentage, guanine 17 percentage, cytosine 32 percentage, and thymine it is 17 percentage. So these are the percentage values of different bases in that particular genetic material. Now they are asking us to consider Charkov's rule and conclude what kind of a genetic material it is. Okay, so the four options are as follows. Number 1, it is a double standard circular DNA. Second one, single standard DNA. Third one, a double standard linear DNA. And fourth one, a single standard RNA. Since the base proportions are not at all equal, it can never be a double standard DNA. So both of these options, A as well as C, is being removed, eliminated. Alright, 
Now coming to the conclusion, note down this. So thymine will be present only in case of DNA, not in case of RNA. So this option we are eliminating. So it is a single stranded DNA. Alright. So this is how we approach different questions based on Charkov's rules. Thank you. All the best.